Hey guys, so I know how excited you guys are to see the latest changes from the Model 3 Project Highlands and this is after 7 whole years of keeping the exact same design. We are literally just weeks away from seeing our first real preview of the Model 3 Highland directly from Tesla and this is no prototype, this is literally the car in its glory. Now if you guys are interested in any of the prototype stuff and any of the recent leaks, you guys can head over to my Highland playlist, I'll drop a link in the description below and right up top there everything highland related is in that playlist so do check it out but for this video here specifically i want to talk about something different i want to talk about the weight and the range of the vehicle this hasn't really been discussed much and there has been information that has been given out to us from the government of china and i know that this is going to be something very critical to the driving experience and the overall joy of driving this model now in my opinion there are three things that the model 3 has to achieve and that is the range, the performance, and the ride and handling. Be it the interior design or the exterior design, it is not as important as the overall driving experience. In addition to all the leaks that we've talked about in previous videos, there has been recent filings for certifications of the overall vehicle that is going to be coming out in the next couple weeks here. Now before we get to those numbers, I want to talk about the overall changes to this vehicle and what Tesla is trying to achieve. The Model 3 redesign here is supposedly going to be focusing on the reduction of parts and focusing on only important things that matters most to the customers. So you guys are going to be noticing a reduction in a lot of components of the vehicle, be it that a good thing or a bad thing, that's for you to decide. But things such as the stock, the trims, and just overall material is going to be degraded or it's going to be removed completely. So if we take all this into account, you would think that the overall weight of this car has gone down and it makes the car overall much lighter and a better handling well unfortunately that isn't the case the overall weight of the vehicle surprisingly increased by 22 pounds or 10 kilograms so that means you're going to be hopping into a vehicle that is heavier than the previous model now how much 22 pounds is really going to affect your driving and handling not by much to be honest but that is added to your own weight and the passenger in the vehicle with everything else loaded up now interestingly enough even with the added weight we are seeing a range increase by five miles and that isn't by much but that is still an increase nevertheless so we are going from 345 miles to 350 miles in their long range version keep in mind that this is the CLTC standard so it's not going to be the same in EPA in the US so for those of you guys like myself who were expecting some kind of enormous jump in range unfortunately you're going to be disappointed here that's not going to happen and Tesla is trying to keep the standard throughout the entire lineup but honestly, who knows? Until the official numbers come out directly from Tesla, even these government standard testing is not going to be the exact number that you're going to get in your vehicle. And the fact that we know that Tesla hasn't fully finalized the different type of battery chemistries just yet, there is still the LFP pack and the blade battery LFP design that is going into the Model Ys that should substantially bring the range up. This is very likely going to be headed into the Model 3 Highland in the near future. So if you do want a really high range vehicle you might have to wait a generation or two after this highland gets revealed so yeah guys this is just a quick little update on the internals of the vehicle there is definitely going to be a lot more videos that i'm going to be pumping out on everything with the highland for the next couple weeks at least before i start moving on to a different topic so if you guys are interested in highland and you are waiting for a highland or even the juniper please stay tuned to this channel hit that subscribe button that bell notification and if you guys haven't already done so follow me on twitter or x at Hey John E. That's where I'll be providing you guys some information outside of the typical YouTube stuff. And then you guys can also communicate with me freely over there. This should be it for this video. Let's all get pumped for the Highland announcement. If you guys have any other information, please drop it in the comments below. This is John once again. Peace out.